the sun. It brings life to everything on this planet. The trees, the birds, and the bees. And the odd dog or two. But we all know what British weather is like. It's just a bit unpredictable. We have rain, most days, flash floods, hail, snow, and more snow. And if you're unlucky, a bit of wind too. So in this episode of The Gentleman Maker, we're going to build the Sun Informer. As soon as the sun comes out, a lot of Brits like to run into the sun and make as much vitamin D as they can before the clouds come back over. Despite enjoying the sun, a lot of us also crisp up like bacon in a mere 15 minutes of being outside. So it's crucial we don't spend too long in the sun. This is where the Sun Informer comes in. When sunlight hits the LDR, it will send a signal to the Arduino, which in turn sends a signal to the Raspberry Pi. When the Pi detects this message, it will then send an alarm sound to the speaker, so that people nearby know it's time to make the most of the sun. However, some users may be too far away to hear this sound, so the Pi also sends a telegram message to anyone connected to the Sunbot using the cloud, well, the internet, not the clouds in the sky. After 15 minutes, the Raspberry Pi will then send another telegram message to all connected users, warning us to go back inside. So, let's build it. So, for this project, you will need a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, an Arduino Uno, a 10 kilo ohm resistor, an LDR, some wire, a breadboard, a speaker, a USB cable for the Uno, a micro USB cable for the Pi, and a USB charger for powering the Pi. All the parts in this project can be found from DigiKey, link in the description below. So here's the schemic schematic for this Sun Informer. We have our Raspberry Pi, our speaker, a wall adapter, and our Arduino Uno with the external circuitry. The wall adapter is used to power the Raspberry Pi, while the speaker is connected to the audio output, and the Arduino Uno is directly connected to the Raspberry Pi using the USB port. The Arduino Uno is then connected to our LDR using a potentiometer, and it is then connected to A0. This allows the Arduino Uno to make analog measurements of this potential divider. So here we have the Arduino code. The first piece of code that's executed is to set up the Arduino, and we just simply set up the serial port to use a board rate of 9600. With the setup code done, it then runs the code inside the loop function, and all it needs to do is take analog readings from the LDR, and if the analog reading is lower than the trigger level, then it will send a message over the serial port. At the same time, it will also wait until the reading from the LDR goes below the trigger level, so that if the sun is constantly out, it doesn't keep sending messages. The Python program is a little more complex and will require you to sit down to have a look if you want to understand it. But the basic idea is that all you need to do is set the token here to your bot's token, and then chat ID to the chat ID of your bot. And then you'll also need to make sure that the port is pointed to the right place. When the program executes the main while loop here, all it will do is wait for some data in the serial port. And if it does read something, it will then tell us to go outside and then it will play the alarm. And then after 15 minutes, it will then send us another message over Telegram to come back inside. Now, the first step into testing this, I need to actually go ahead and power up the Pi, which it is not powered. So I'm going to go, I don't think it's powered. Oh, it was powered the whole time, whoops. So the first step for me to actually get this thing to work is I need to power up the Pi. I am using my USB port from my computer instead of the USB charger because it turns out the charger wasn't powerful enough. Which brings me to a kind of an important point. If you're using a Raspberry Pi 3 and you do intend to power it using the micro USB onboard uh, power port, make sure that your charger is at least two amp capability. If it hasn't got that two amp capability, it's basically gonna struggle. So now everything's connected up, speaker's ready to go, and we are basically going to log into the Raspberry Pi over SSH to start our Python script. So from here, we need to go ahead and find the directory in which we put all the files onto the Pi. Now, mine is quite simple. I just put it under a folder called Python in my documents. So since I've already done this command before, I can go ahead and click up and go CD documents slash Python. That gets me to the uh, Python script. And then I can go ahead and uh, load the Python program itself. And now the main script runs. Attention, the sun is now out. All British citizens, please vacate the premise immediately and prepare for sunlight.
So now we've built the Sun Informer, I can finally get the vitamin D that I so long have needed during this entire winter. So that's all the time we have for in this episode of The Gentleman Maker. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and I can finally enjoy this tea. Yes! Got it!